the RTX 5090 and RTX 5080 got a couple of updates. There's a surprising amount of people that are still running into problems with the actual connector for the RTX 4090 melting. There's some news regarding Ubisoft and people complaining about Star Wars Outlaw. Got some news regarding Zen 5 from AMD. News regarding Beach Nut city have no idea if that's actually what it's going to be called but beach nut and then i also found an article covering this laptop right here an msi pulse with an rtx 4070 saying it's a good deal at 1800 bucks but i found one right here on amazon for 1300 bucks so let's go ahead and start this video out with the title of the video respect RTX 5090 and 5080 could be here much sooner than expected. Leaks are pointing to the new NVIDIA Blackwell GPUs arriving a lot sooner than originally expected thanks to competition from AMD. My friends, this is why competition is always mint. Okay, you ready for it? Christmas time. Mom and dad. Hey, mom. Hey, what do you want for birthday or for Christmas, son? An RTX 5090. Like... I totally deserve it. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> starting to gear up in quarter four, 2024, or possibly even late quarter three. I don't believe that. The, the RTX 5090 and RTX 5080, another source at a distributor says that they have also heard that the RTX 5000 series is going to launch in quarter three and quarter four of this year, but they added that it doesn't surprise them one bit quarter three i don't do i don't know I'm, I'm not i don't believe that i don't think that the 5090 is going to come that soon i think that that would be stupid for nvidia um to do that so i do want to say something that um is actually a pretty big problem and that is that the 4090 is not going to be going down in price and the reason that this is a problem dude is because the 5090 is going to be so i run a pc building business and i'm getting questions about this all of the time because I don't want to go into how I how I, how I go about doing this, but like I put a bunch of stuff in my cart and I'll take a snapshot of the price of everything and then I'll send that to to the person buying a computer from me. So if there's like four thousand dollars worth of parts in my in my cart and they're buying that four thousand dollar computer, that is what they pay. I don't charge any labor fees or anything like that. But the problem with this dude is like, so when I do this, like these lists, I mean they mind you they only take like probably five minutes to put together each but like when i do this and people like come back to me and they're like oh should i wait for a 5090 or oh should i wait for a 5080 or i think i'm gonna wait for a 5090 not and i'm and i'm like dude like you realize that the 5090 is gonna be like two or three hundred dollars more than a 4090 the 4090 is not gonna be going down in price and like people are they they seem to be unaware of this and it's just i don't know dude i think it's gonna be a problem for a lot of people because that's a lot of money, dude. Like, I get it. The 4090, most most 4090s are over $2,000 right now. But to have the MSRP be $2,000, you know, just as well as I know, they're probably going to be going for like $3,000. You remember, markups go by percentage. So anyways, let's move on to the next article before I get too far off topic. NVIDIA's next generation RTX 5090 and RTX 5080 are rumored to be at Computex 2024. So NVIDIA's next generation RTX 5090 and 5080 graphics cards are going to be launching this year and it has nothing to do with AMD's next gen RDNA 4 GPU. I don't... So there's apparently... Uh, I forget. Was it... It wasn't Moore's Law is Dead. It's the red... I have a brain fart right now. The red game, red, red something. It's not Moore's Law is dead, but somebody was talking about how AMD is actually apparently going to be releasing a high-end graphics card. Um, the guy with like the curly black hair, he has a TV in the backdrop. He gets super technical and like, that's not me. That's like, I like the content he makes. Um, But the, I don't, I, I I'm I'm still like in the process of learning computer science, so the way he talks about stuff just seriously confuses me. Um, it's probably why some people actually watch me because I I explain <laughs> I only talk about and explain stuff that I at least somewhat understand, and I don't even understand it very well. So because of that, I explain it in a manner that other people that don't have the like the the like most uh, in depth 
knowledge about computer science and talking about oh this gb203 means it's going to do this and because of the b40 workstation it's going to be really good with the 5000 megahertz nvme speed that's com combined with all the little whatever four nanometer chips and it's like yo what <laughs> and i'm just like they confuse me so much but anyways look forward to this i do think that they're going to end up mentioning something at computex 2024 but who knows the next thing that i wanted to talk about is the rtx 4090s continuing to melt and gpus repair and a gpu repair facility claiming to work on 200 flagship nvidia cards per month i don't know about that bro that sounds i don't know dude that doesn't i don't believe that that sounds outrageous you can't fake that bros actually got wow i'm gonna get way too off but anyways um what i was gonna say is dude i really want to like start a company that uh um has like offers like custom laptops i think that'd be sick um like like actually be able to build your own laptop how cool would that be i th i think it would be cool because java hut is a season pass exclusive look man i'm not gonna I'm not going to say that I agree with microtransactions or that I don't think that they're a problem or whatever. Okay. I understand why people dislike trans microtransactions. I really do. But I'm a lot older than I look and act and sound. Um, so like, dude, like games have been 60 to 70 bucks for a long time. Like when I was, when I grew up with the super Nintendo, man, like a lot of games back then were like 80 bucks. So you got to. And yes, like I, I'm pretty sure who, who else here remembers Ames, the, the like the store aim. It was like Walmart back in my day, but, uh, but, um, where was I going with it? Oh, but so like, dude, you got to remember, like we're talking about inflation too. Like you have to remember, man, like we're talking like just five years ago, not even 20 years ago. Like think about it, dude, bread used to be like 50 cents. Now it's like five bucks. You gotta get, grab a tub of yogurt it's like six bucks it used to be like a dollar you go buy a box of cereal it's like 10 freaking dollars now <laughs> it used to be like four you know what i mean and then like so i'm just saying man like i understand like i don't i don't want to sound like i'm trying to defend ubisoft because I, they have sucked with microtransactions all right i do understand it but like the game's not even out yet we don't know like okay like it's a freaking job of the hut season pass exclusive it's not like it's a freaking weapon you know um but i don't know man i just i really i hate it because like the the games that do microtransactions bad are the ones that cause all the other stuff to like just <laughs> suck so AMD's Zen 5 CPUs are launching a lot sooner than expected. We could see a July launch for what could be Ryzen 9000 series processors. That's really all I need to say. Um, uh, HXL ended up posting a picture of the motherboard, which is going to support the CPU and all that kind of stuff. So that's really all I need to say about this one. Next, Beach Nut City. Sounds like a town in Grand Theft Auto. Can't tell me I'm wrong about that. Intel Beechnut City <laughs> Valid <laughs> validation platform for Xeon 6, Granite Rapids, and Sierra Forest are pictured up close. So, again, holy freaking moly, bro. That's got to be a server. Damn, bro. Look at that, man. So, I wonder how much RAM that would support. So, if we go... So what 48 is the big or no do, do we have can you put 46 to 64 well let's just do it so we have 128 hold up two four oh my goodness two four six eight hold up <laughs> i can't do that math in my head all right so like we have one all right so we got one 128 times 128 times 4 equals 512 oh my god are you kidding me 
so there's more this on this one all right so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifty so we got 15 blues so that means 30 so 30 times 128 <laughs> no i have to have done the math wrong damn homie that's crazy bro what the frick i think i did the math from <laughs> i'm not gonna make you <laughs> i'm not gonna make you guys watch me do that again yo that's a lot of freaking that's us that's crazy dude what the frick nah intel xeon what kind is is this like a is this like a fifty thousand dollar cpu or something there's no way bro 32 so oh, oh my okay so oh yo they're tripping out about it too they're like yo oh they're gonna tell us how much it supports oh my god no come on. all right so there's bro I'm, I'm so pissed right now let me know down in the comments below how much ram that would support i know there you all you're, it's, it's youtube comments everybody knows so let's <laughs> so you go you go ahead and tell me how much this supports as i as i attempt to figure this out oh my god is this it right here hold up bench beach nut city oh my goodness bro i'm so true i want to know how all right so 32 times ddr5 64 oh come on dude you're clickbait. Get out of here. DDR5. Whoa. 24 DDR5s. It's only it's only saying the speed, bro. I want to know how much, like, how many of it. That's outrageous, bro. You could have, like, fucking holy crap. All right. And this right here, just real quick. It's just a laptop that's for sale. I found, I think this is a much better deal than this one right here, dude. That's, like, so we're like $1,800. Normally it's $1,900. This one right here is $1,300, not on sale. So yeah, it only has an i7-12600. But dude, I'm just being real with you, man. You can't get, uh, you can't really, I'll, I'll toss a link down in the description to this laptop. But dude, you can't, it's kind of pointless to get a high-end laptop. It's just like, you know, you get like a, a 4090 laptop, you pay $5,500 for it, and it, it performs like half of what a desktop would perform. It's just like, they did do a better job with like the lower end series laptops with the with the, with the the 40 series of graphics cards, uh, like, like 4060, 4070 laptops, and then 4060 Ti and 4070 Ti laptops. They perform pretty good for what they are. They don't like, they don't get super hot and like constantly need to throttle itself and, and all that kind of stuff, but... I don't know, dude. I don't, I just, that's just, that's just me, man. But let me know down in the comments. Like, dude, I've tried the, the Acer or the MSI Katana. This is the different one. The one that I'm showing you here, but the MSI Katana one that we made a review on that was like, it was like, it was like $900. I was like, yeah, like this is performing pretty much on par with the, with a freaking Razer laptop. That was almost $2,500. You know what I mean? It was like a RTX 2080 laptop or 2080 ti it might have been a 3080 i forget what it was but anyway it was it was a comparison and i was just like dude this is crazy and ms air razor is a good laptop too so i'm gonna get way too too far off top i think that's a good deal it's got 32 gigabytes of ram a one terabyte nvme ssd in it it's got the i7 and then an rtx 4070 and then it's got a 1080p 144 hertz screen but like i don't know I don't think spending over 1500 bucks on a laptop is worth it, but that's just, that's just me, dude. But that's going to bring us to the end of the video. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.